Good morning, folks. There isn't much to do but wait for the arrival of our next top story. CME Interplanetary Shockwave is en route to Earth and will hit in the coming hours. We'll be updating on Twitter and at spaceweathernews.com. Expect about 600 to 700 kilometers per second in the solar wind speed and 30 to 50 protons per cubic centimeter. When we come to spaceweathernews.com early today, there isn't much to be seen, at least not much more. The Earth-facing disk was calm. Top eruption threat is actually that thin dark plasma filament near center disk in perfect eruption position. And folks, there is that one CME heading our way, but that is it, and the flaring from what was once a titanic sunspot has waned with its size. It threw one good punch but got dominated from start to finish and we are starting the 10 count as he remains on the mat as he turns toward the limb. You will see here that in the last 12 hours he really did try to stir up one more and we applaud the effort but the earth facing solar quiet was just too much to overcome. Looking in 211 angstroms we see that the corona hole situation is getting fun and will be even better in another day or two. Thus far, however, those rare location rumbles have been the top story with five total in the U.S. and Canada for the last three days. And by the way, four shocks and OLR anomalies have my eyes set on South America. So folks, many of you remember the WIP story, underground nuclear storage facility with a fire and radioactive release that was later determined to be much worse underground than they realized. Well folks, this week they found someone dead inside. They have not released much more information than that, but that's not one of those headlines we ignore and let go. I wish that were the only environmental issue in the southwest, but it's not even number one. This is an infrared camera showing the methane release in Southern California. Here's the short version. Methane is a global concern for a number of reasons, and none of them are good. This leak is not the kind of thing that puts the entire planet at risk, but releases of methane have been reportedly on the rise globally, albeit not that much faster than replacing the sensors. However, from a local standpoint, this is horrendous. Nobody should be anywhere near this leak or immediately downwind from it. Updates coming as needed. We've also got a rainfall measurement mission animation of the rain that accompanied killer tornadoes across the southern states this week. Now we enter the flood stage of the catastrophe, and more rain is coming. Over at SuspiciousObservers.org, we've added another one of the presentations to the Observing the Frontier section, and are continuing to get these Deeper Look episodes out as well. It's just one month until the second conference, Observing the Frontier in Phoenix at the end of January. Bruce Laybourne gave us his talk title yesterday, so check out the event page. And FYI, ticket holders, the hangout for the Mobile Observatory will be right after the last talk on Saturday. We've got pressure, radar, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.